This is a travel experience by the AdventureTravelers.com, the Badlands of South Dakota. We'll explain what we did in our RV, what we liked, and what we would change or do differently. Get a National Park Pass first. We were actually coming back from Yellowstone and on our way to Michigan to see our daughter, and we kind of stumbled on the Badlands. The sun was setting really fast, but we knew we definitely wanted to do the Badlands. We made it through about 30 minutes of really windy roads. It was kind of scary. We arrived at night, but we were able to check in with the ranger in the morning. So we're kind of cruising through all these little switchbacks right here and uh, just kind of following that. And there's my little adventure traveler, Melissa. I don't know if you can see that up there, but that's pretty cool too. This one's for you, Scott. <laughs> It's always fun hiking where you can see antelope have been and they've been sliding all over the place when this is wet. Some little mud caves down in there. Nice arch formation. This Badlands National Park is really cool. The hiking in the Badlands was absolutely spectacular. Really, you could go anywhere. It's kind of a dangerous place, so you need to know what you're doing, and don't go anywhere that you think you're gonna fall or slip. And here's what we liked. We liked everything about the Badlands. It was kind of wild, but it was fun. Dino made friends. It was all around a great Americana experience too when we went into town. Here's what we would change or do differently. Duh, do your research before you head out anywhere. We should have gone in the daytime. We should have spent more time there, but we were kind of on a deadline. It was pretty windy in April and cold. Had we gone there a little bit warmer season, that would have been nice. The music in our video is available on ccmixer.org. Support your local artists and national parks. We do. Continue traveling with us by either liking, sharing, or subscribing to theadventuretravelers.com.